Hi, thanks for joining me today and welcome to all my new subscribers. Today we're going to have some books to show you how to customize your lipsticks and lip glosses. So stay with me. Okay, let's get started. Now, I've over the past I've ordered lots of cosmetics from Coastal Scent. And Coastal Scent always sends me free pigment samples or a free lip brush or something. But I wanted to show you if you have these same pigment samples that you've picked up from whatever company you shop at, um, I want to show you how to take these samples and make a beautiful lip gloss for yourself or depending on the texture of your clear lip gloss that you're going to use, it could almost be a lipstick. So let's get started. Now this is from Coastal Scent. That's the name right there. And this is the color. And this is sort of like, um, I'm going to swatch this on my hand for you. It's a beautiful pink mauve color and it has a hint of, um, a hint of, uh, I would say, like a beige in it also. Almost looks like, um, like a quartz kind of a color, if I can say quartz and make it sound like it has a color. And that's the color right there. I'm going to take a little bit of that. Now, I suggest that when you make your own lip glosses, that you use a small container. Um, they sell these containers, guys, all over the internet, so you'll be able to find a container. But So I'm going to use one of these containers. No, I'm not going to use the container. I'm going to use the back of my hand just to demonstrate how, how well these products blend into a clear lip gloss. So now you can use any clear lip gloss you want. This one is by Milani. It's clear. You can use MAC lip gloss. You can use any lip gloss. Um, the only thing I have to say about the difference between these two is that MAC lip gloss is a lot thicker than uh, the Milani. Milani is very thin. And so if you like a thin, light application, this Milani Clear will work really well for you. However, I like them both. Um, so we're going to first start with Let's start with uh, a MAC pigment. This is Fuchsia. And that's the color right there. Let me see. Again. And as you guys can see, I've already had this in a small container. These are, um, this is my sample, but these are the containers I usually send your, um, your, your giveaways in. Let me just give you, not to get off the track. Let me just see those little containers. If you guys have gotten, um, giveaways from me they're usually in these size containers these containers are very inexpensive uh, at Coastal Scent but again you can just search the internet they're available uh, many many places I'm going to remove that and I'm going to first begin by um, if you're going to test this on yourself just make sure the back of your hand is clean I like to use my um, my disinfectant wipes and so that's what I'm using now I have one right here and I'm wiping off the back of my hand now once that's dry we're going to take this fuchsia pigment and just put it on the back of our hand and just put a little you don't need a lot you don't really need a lot and I'm going to open the MAC the MAC clear lip glass and I'm going to drop it onto that pigment. Now when you do your own, of course you can do it in a container. I don't suggest every time you want to wear this you make it on the back of your hand. But as you can see, see the lip gloss and the pigment. Now I'm blend the two together. I'm going to blend them together. Make sure it's nice and dissolved in there. And then now you saw how intense that pink was, right? And it really just softened down. And now I'm going to apply this on my lip. And we'll see what fuchsia looks like as a lip gloss. Or I should say lip glass. It's very light in color. So what you may want to do, which I'm going to do, is I'm going to go back. I'm going to intensify that color by adding more pigment. 
and a little more gloss. So you can customize your look any way you like. If you like a lighter color to your lip, definitely use a less pigment. If you like a darker look, here it is again, just add more pigment. And it definitely is very glossy. Very pretty. And that's the fuchsia. I'm going to wipe it off my hand. I'm going to use one of the Coastal Scent pigments that I told you about. I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to use the Satin Rouge. I'm going to swipe this off. And with a clean hand again, I'm going to take my spatula and just dip into this package and take out the pigment. And don't take out a lot, guys, because I start with a little at a time. And that's the pigment right there. And here it is. Oops, it's falling. That's the Satin Rouge. And now we're going to use the Milani Lip Gloss. I'm just going to put a little bit right on top of there. That's the Milani. And I'm going to use another brush. Always clean your brushes off. Always clean your brushes off um, when you want to, to do this so that you don't mix colors together. And I'm going to blend it for you. And this is much thinner, thinner, thinner uh, in texture. This is preferable for me. And I'm going to put the Satin Rouge now. This is nice, guys. I like this one. Again, if you want to do this, use a small container so that you can touch up later. You can customize your look. It becomes very personalized begin to find uh, colors that match your skin tone that you can't find in the store. Perhaps this is another way to find that, that your, your favorite lipstick or your lip gloss. And that's Satin Rouge pigment from Coastal Scent. I love it. I love it. So that's all I want to share with you today. To experiment with your pigments, whether it's your MAC pigment, your Coastal Scent pigment, or wherever you're getting um, pigments from, try mixing it in a little lip gloss, clear lip gloss, and um, I wanted to show you the MAC, and uh, see what you can do with that. I'm going to start doing this now. I think if I can find with that said, You'll be well, you'll be blessed. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.
Thank you.